Welcome back people. Um, just here on a rainy afternoon at home and having got down to pan and me cons from um, my four day Victoria trip and uh, I thought I would um, do them today as I might be heading out just for a day tomorrow and um, do a bit more so I've got to clean me cons container out. <laughs> Anyway, I'll try and set you up here. Hopefully you can see me panning them out. And um, just make sure that the bowl would be in focus. Hopefully it is. And um, just checking. Yeah, I hope you can see this. I've already um, sieved through just the kitchen sieve my cons and got these few stones out nothing very big but there's bits of smoky quartz I think by the look of it there I'm not too sure heavy mineralized I might even run the detector over these because you never know might be something in there I can't see anything it's not a sunny day so it makes it hard to see here's a nice piece of um I presume smoky quartz. I don't know if, whether you can see it's hard in this light to see through it, but anyway, we'll see how we go. So I've got all my cons here. I um, do pan into a bowl and I pan pan that that stuff again a couple of times. Well, first I'll put a drop of detergent in there. This normal dishwashing detergent I use. To break up the surface tension so it makes it really give it a really good shake this is from the four day or three and a half day really like the Victoria trip I did I put a few videos up on that so these are the cons for that and um, I'll go through that I'll pan them out hopefully show you um, the result of that three day trip as you can see heap of black sand in there really heavies and um, we'll keep going with that uh, might actually pan into into this pan so it'll be a bit easier for me to pan in through there again uh, if I can and I'll pan from that pan into the bowl uh, haven't been out prospecting for a few weeks I went out and done a bit of hunting up in the mountains with me mate uh, do a bit of deer hunting and that and plenty of signs of deer but actually didn't see any deer itself as it's the place where we went spent getting a fair few hunters in there and the deer would spook a bit but found a lot of big dog tracks and cat prints really big cat prints and there is rumors of a um, a large cat in the area but my friend set up a game camera and caught um, a set of eyes which were a bit puzzling to what it would be and the ranger up there thinks it would be a cat so a big cat so anyway that was the end of that had a great few days didn't do no real early morning hunting normally just checked out through the day and did afternoon hunting but it was that foggy till late morning and hard to see a lot of ice still on the ground snow in the area and, and uh, anyway you know what this is Yeah, 
quartz with some stuff on it that can go in my container. Doesn't look like any gold in that, just quartz and stone I'd say. So anyway, we'll continue panning this down a little bit to get rid of the the light stuff. I just might put a drop more detergent in there. Shake, 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 get that service tension working. I run a, run a gold rat sluice with a dream mat in it, and or vortex mat or whatever they call it, and the cons from that, although there's not many cons, they're really heavy, and the fine flaky gold seem to, um, doesn't seem to want to um, sink right to the bottom of the heavies and tend to float in amongst it so it's very easy to to lose the fine stuff so I just might move this bowl out from underneath it as it's splashing water everywhere <laughs> set just this one up here Sorry about that viewers, it's getting water splashing all over my feet and that here and uh, hopefully you can see all this. I got my phone set up today, not my camera, so I might get a bit better picture and Still new to the camera and that, and anyway, I'll just start washing a bit of this back and see what we end up with. Can't see no gold washing back yet. Hopefully you can see this at home. Now I'll just wash that back into the pan here. And we'll go again. This is a part I really hate the most. I should probably buy some finer sieves and sieve it right down and run it through my homemade blue bowl but that's probably my next option I pan these cons down and any obvious gold while I was down the creek I quickly snuffed up but I don't like spending too much time down there panning, um, panning the cons down because as you can see it takes a while and I'd rather spend more time digging I'm about probably two and a half hours from northeast Victoria so you're looking at a five hour round trip and so I'll try and spend as much time as I can down there digging, testing, eye banking and spend the rest of my time down here at home panning so that's my philosophy in that and I think a few others are taking that up as well. And um, give a shout, shout out to Grotty Gold and Alicia and Steve and Busted Knuckles and Vogus Prospecting, Piney Pauly, Kessler Guitars. I follow those fellas and a few others there. So follow a few detect, detecting blokes, Famio and MD gold and a few others MD prospecting or whatever hard to remember all the names I'm hopeless with names but anyway uh, good channels if you 
interested in having a look at there, so I'll keep going here slowly. I can already see gold floating on top there. I'll just bring you in a little bit closer and show you the end of my finger. You can see gold just at the end of my finger there. Two pieces, another one there. Anyway, I'll keep going here and try and wash all these lighter heavies or whatever down because as you can see they're not washing down that easy so see it's just a slow process doing this and and being a cloudy day doesn't help either it's hard to see if you're washing really small pieces down as well so anyway I can spend hours doing this normally just put a teaspoon in at a time but I'll try and get um, most of it down quicker as I've sort of snuffed a lot of the gold out I'll give it a rough really quick pan um, cleaned up what gold I could quickly and then tip the rest of these into my container so just to save time on the creek and try and get as much pay dirt as I can to bring home. So, anyway, let's see what happens shortly. Don't want to bore you too much. Probably switches off and get his back again when I'm a bit more closer to a reveal. There's more colour coming through there. But anyway, so little pieces washing down here. no quick solution to this it's just time and and you got to have patience so my dog's there barking Mickey what are you doing dogs in the garden barking trying to get into the garden so not sure what he's up to Oh, I can see more colour coming through here, through the heavies. So, wash that away again. I'm losing colour. I've seen a few little specks go down, but I'll just wash that out and go through it again, maybe at a later stage on a sunny day. and. Let's do a little bit at a time and see how we go. A bit of a tap, try and get the tap a bit there. So don't be frightened to get your fingers in there to help you a little bit. Gold won't stick to your fingers as long as it's in the water. But if you've got dry hands and the no water over your cons put your finger in there 
90% of the time you, the gold will stick to your finger. A nice little stone in there might be a little diamond in there not sure if you viewers can see it just just there right at the end of my finger right at the tip of my finger now looks like a little diamond maybe I'll pan it down a little bit closer and see how we go nearly the size of a match head it is so there it is, it's come down here. I'll dry my finger off. I don't know if you can see it in the pan there. Dry my finger off, make sure it's out of the water. And it's picked it up. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. It's clear as, it's got a tiny, as um, like, tiny yellowy tinge to it you could barely notice but anyway I'll put that in my container here into that container probably look at that later I'll keep panning them down so, keep going through here Well, you can see the gold there, it's another piece there, fair sized piece at the tip of my finger there. There you go. I'll try and get down pretty quick like I do down the creek, I'll give it a really good swish like that. It's gold all the way through that black sands. I'm sure you should be able to see it there. Through there, all through there, some through there. Uh, it's one problem with my homemade sluice. I didn't get, I got a lot of cons, but not concentrated so much in black sand and it was a lot easier to pan out. Where this is, you don't, you get bugger all cons, but you get all the heavies. And Makes you wonder sometimes. Sometimes I reckon I could pan down a lot more cons quicker and get the gold out than spend hours trying to con just just pan the heavies. Some good pieces in there. Some nice flakes. So try and get right down on it quickly. And um a nice piece in there, it's a bigger sort of a flake, but it's got a bit of size to it. Try and pan the heavies down, and all the gold goes down with it. It's a problem, as you can see, all the gold's washing down. Maybe I'm not real patient or I'll try and get a bit of a line up here and snuff it up if I can. Get a bit of a clean patch there and get it up here. No. I think I just got too much in the pan. Tried to do all my cons at once and not really working out as how I'd like to. But anyway, I'll just tap this line up here if I can. Try and tap the gold up and the heavies go up with it. But as you can see, there's a nice line up through there, through there. Okay, I might just turn you off. I might do a little bit less and try and get back to some serious colour. 